We're going to share with you today what members of the science team do during an ROV dive. We're going to talk about video annotation and using the ocean floor observation protocol. So once the ROV uh, is down, so this is what we see, this TV is connected to the pilot's room. So we see here um, the uh, ship's navigation, so some CTDs and uh, water column parameters, and this is the ROV video. So here we have uh, the ROV laser, and this is actually uh, 60 centimeters, so we can actually measure uh, things in a video. And, and once the ROV uh, moves around in the, in the sea floor, we can just uh, start uh, identifying what we are seeing and doing our annotations using our FOP. So this is where all the scientists are, and here we can see uh, a sponge, actually a quite big sponge, it looks like it is colonized by some organisms, so it looks like it's that. Ah, we also see a lizard fish there, uh, some stalk crinoid, crinoids here, um, some sponges here as well. Uh, we can actually identify the sediment and see what's in there. And, and yeah, this is where we are all crowded <laughs> to analyze and see what's going on down there. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we have to do once we open off up is to load uh, a map image. So in this case, we already have our map here. So this is the bathymetry of the area in which we're going to dive. And the first thing we have to do so that we get the right positioning um, of our annotations is to calibrate this map. So actually this image is connected to the ship's uh, position and also to the ROV position but of course we have to calibrate it. So we just come here, so we have two distant points in our map, so in, in which we know the let and long, so we know the exact coordinates of these points. And we just come here and we calibrate our map and we just write down uh, its coordinates. The first coordinate for this point and the second coordinate for this one. During the ROV dive, we're going to have one member of the science team over here recording within OFOP. This is our annotation software, which we use to make note of what we see during the dive. Anytime we see a sample being taken, anytime there's any interesting biology or geology, we go ahead and track this in OFOP. So right now, we just saw there are two stocked crinoids. So I'm going to type in stocked crinoids, and there was two of them. I go ahead and hit enter, and that will be time stamped with the ROV's location, coordinates, depth, and all the other information from the sensors in the ROV. You want to make sure it's time stamped so that you can go back into the dive footage and see any animals that you want to see at the time it was recorded. So sometimes during a dive, the science team will go ahead and make a call to sample something. We use these walkie-talkies to talk to the scientist, which is in the ROV van with the ROV pilots. He's going to go ahead, use that walkie-talkie, make the call, and let them know that we want to sample this sponge. When you go ahead and sample, you want to make sure that is also recorded in the OFOP. Each cruise you're on will likely have its own naming convention for samples. For this one, we start with L21, that's for ROV LUSO 2021. Then it, this is dive number one, so we're going to put D01, and this is a biological sample number one. So that will be B01. Go ahead, make sure that looks right. Wait until the ROV manipulator arm has dropped the sample into the ROV successfully and hit enter. At that same time, another member of the science team is going to be taking note of that same information, taking down the time, the description of the sample, and the sample number. So when we finish our dive, this is the image we get. So this is the ROV uh, track in which we had during our dive. So you can see this is the area in which we explored. And then uh, once you open the file uh, in which we had our annotations, you can see the time of our annotation um, and some other uh, info, so such as let, long, depth, and so on. And by the end of the file, you can see all of our species that we saw during our dive. So yeah, and don't feel bad if you don't know exactly the species name because that's a, a work we're gonna do later on once we sit in our lab and we go through all the videos and just process it.